all right boys welcome back to another video so if you haven't seen recently um roblox afk games have been getting very very popular or they were at least so today i'm showing you how to make a roblox afk game so the first thing you need is roblox studio which comes with roblox when you download it so you should already have it link below if you don't have it already so what you're going to do once you're here is you're going to hit base plate up here so this should be what your screen looks like when you load into roblox studio hit base plate all right, so once you're in, you're, you'll need to go download a model. I have it in the description. It's a model. It's the board. You need that for this to work. So you need to go get the board down the description below on Roblox. You need to get it. And once you have it, you may have to X out of Roblox Studio and get back in. I don't know. Or it might, like, live update it. And you go over to here with this little, um, this little inventory thing. And you go, it should already say my models right there. And you should have the AFK game leaderboard. And so what you do is you click it, and now it's in your game. And I'm just gonna move it like that a little bit. And then what you need to do is you need to go over to where it says file on Roblox. You need to hit publish to Roblox. And once you do that, just go ahead and name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna go ahead and name it AFK game. And that's all I'm gonna name it. And I'm not really, I'm gonna put for the description, AFK game for YouTube video tutorial. Feel free to donate. Smiley face. And then the creator, I'm going to make it be me. And then genre all. And I guess I'll let console players waste their Robux on this game too. And then you hit create. There we go. I'd also like to say shout out to the guy who made this uh, AFK game leaderboard. And uh, I watched his video to figure out how to do this. So yeah, sh uh, shout out to him. Credit to him. Everything like that. Okay, so then you just hit close right there. And then what you want to do is you want to go over to your, where it says game settings up at the top. And you want to go down to where it says monetization. And then scroll down to where it says developer products. And hit create. And then scroll down some more after you hit create. And it's just a product ID, product name, and price. And so for this thing, we're going to, I believe, hold up, let me check real quick. Um, we're going to need a few product IDs. I'm going to create about six. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and hit save on that real quick. And so I'm just going to go ahead and let's see, um, which one of these, okay. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to go to client donate and you see guys it says 5, 10, 25, 50, 100, and 500, and 1,000, or yeah, 1,000 Robux, alright, and then this one's 10,000, but he just didn't put a little comment there. So I'm actually going to do the ones that are already here, you guys can change them up if you want, but so basically what you do is, well first of all do the 5 Robux ones, so how many developer products do we need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 actually, okay. So I'm going to go back up to my game settings, and I'm going to make it be where we have 8 of them. So we currently have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, 7, 8. And so then what you're going to do is you're going to click the three little dots and you're going to hit edit and you're going to change this to whichever one you want you want it to be. Um, I'm going to make this one be um, the donate five Robux. This will not pop up on your board anywhere. This message right here. So just name it whatever uh, five Robux or something so you can remember it. And the price, make it be five Robux. And then hit, I'm going to hit save. Actually, I think the donate five Robux might come up. I don't know for sure. So just put something like that. And then once we have that, we're going to go back over and we're just going to keep um, editing um, our developer products and naming them until we are finished. So I'm going to do a very, very quick time lapse of this so you guys don't have to watch me do every single one of these. All right, so now I have all my dev products up, all right? So the next thing you're going to need to do is, so let's first of all take the five Robux one, okay? Or actually, let's take the ten. And we're going to click the three dots. Do not hit edit this time. Hit copy to copy id to clipboard okay and so we're just gonna hit copy um the id to clipboard and then we're going to hit cancel and then we're gonna go back over where it says client donate and here is where on the five robux you will change it from the number that is currently there to your new number my new number is that and so there i've done that one because if you don't do it then it'll go to the guy who made the board and you don't really want to make a do donation board where, where when people donate it doesn't go even go to you 
So that's why you're changing these IDs. So you will just do that again. So let's go back to monetization and let's just go back and let's go to the, wait, was that the 10 Robux one? That might've been the 10 Robux one, not the five Robux. I think that was the 10 Robux one. Yeah, that was the 10 Robux one. Okay, hold up. Let's just go back, Look like that never happened. And copy ID to clipboard, client donate. Let me change that number. All right, so you guys get it. You just keep doing this. So I'm gonna do another time lapse of me doing all my copy ID stuff. All right, so I've changed all my IDs now, and that is all you have to do for that. So then what you need to do is you need to, once again, you it, it will pop up on the board when you actually run the game. So if we go ahead and we play it like right now, oh, sorry, okay, once again, in game settings, go back to where it says permissions up here, and sorry, go over to security is what I meant to say, and you need to check on, um, allow this, um, this, and yeah, these two things. And then when we hit save, and then now if we go and we play the game. If we go ahead and play it, we should now have our donation buttons up here. Um, yep, okay, they're all loading in right now. More loading in. And let's see here, sorry, my game took a second. My internet's a little bit laggy. Here you go, now we have, okay, so yeah, it does do whatever you put the text as. So mine says donate five Robux. So now, if, uh... So, it also says the top 20 donators up here, and uh, the top donators at the top, the second, t to the second highest donator is at the second spot, you get it. And so, let me just do a little test thing. So, say I would donate 5 Robux. It would pop the screen up, I would hit buy now, and it didn't, it, it worked, but like it's not, it's not really going to take my Robux, so just go in Roblox Studio. So, what you would do to make this game public, just for those of you who don't know, is you'd go over to where it says file, and you would go down to publish to Roblox, and actually, no, no, publish to Roblox as, and then I'm just going to hit create new game. Actually, no, 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 never mind. You go over to file, you hit publish to Roblox as, and where it says my games, click AFK game, and just hit overwrite. And boom, you now have a Roblox game people can go in and they can donate to you. And boom, you now have a Roblox game where people can go in and donate to you a Roblox AFK game. So I hope if this did help you out, don't forget to subscribe and like down below. So I'm trying to hit 500 subs by the end of summer. Right now we're trying to hit 400. So yeah, be sure to subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye, everybody.